Hey, Cecilia is in the house. Hi, Jonathan. Hi, everyone. Hi, you got the rock star sunglasses on. Yeah. <laughs> How are you, Jonathan? Right. Good. Hugs Thank for you. everyone. Happy holidays. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Happy Merry holidays. Christmas. Merry Christmas. I'm very everyone. happy to be with you, everyone. Especially you, Jonathan. Thank you so much for wonder a wonderful. All right, so, so Cecilia, you've been commenting, commenting, commenting on videos, and I have no fucking clue what you're talking about. So what I the know. hell is going on? You have this. Are, okay, first off, are you married, yes or no? To a polygamist. So wait, you're married to, to somebody who's married to other people. Yeah, he didn't tell so me. We vowed we were going to be just And how coming. long have you been married to him? Since April. April of this year. Are you getting a divorce? I probably can just get an annulment. So I have documents to divorce, but I'm going to try to get an annulment. Okay. So, um, and now are you flirting with some other man? Because you keep talking about a man and feelings. Who the hell is this guy you're talking about? Well, um, two years ago, yeah. um, I was told by my cousin, who I had never met before, that he wanted right. me to find him a girlfriend. And we had kind of like a friendship, like a platonic relationship. But then last Christmas, he says, I wanted you to be my girlfriend and for us to get married. Okay. So. So have you been seeing him? Have you been seeing him physically? No. Okay. Have you had sex with them? No. So do you communicate via text messaging? One-sidedly. What does that mean, one-sidedly? The last time he communicated with me was last month, and it was just a cold and dry communication about a transaction that we were having for a kitchen that he wanted me to. He wanted me to save money up for him to make a kitchen or remodel a kitchen at my home okay okay so it was just so, about that all right so what's your why do you follow my channel and what's your what's your question for me well he and i have had a lot of feelings for each other sexual of course but when it comes to communicating um it's almost felt like he's been lying to me and you can't tell when he lies or tells the truth so when i listen to your channel it helps me to kind of understand where I just don't have to go through too far into my feelings with him. Okay. So do you love him? Yes or no? Yes, very much. Okay. So are you ready for some tough love? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, are you sure this is Christmas? You know, I'm going to be, I'm going to be the Grinch for a moment. Oh, I'm, I have a very, very strong uh, inner critic. So I'm, yeah, I'm fine. Okay. You have a strong inner critic, but you have thick skin. <laughs> no, I don't have thick skin. Uh, I like okay. to make, I like, I'm a composer. Uh, I'm okay. a scientist too, but, uh, but it's thick okay. Thick skin just means that you're going to handle the criticism I'm going to give you. So first off, you are in what's known as artificial intimacy with this man. You haven't physically met him, connected with him. So when you say you have all these feelings, these are false feelings because they're not based on any real time spent together. As I say yeah. repeatedly, did, it takes about a- at first, huh? at first, last year, we did spend a lot of time together. Last but only year, when, last year. Last year was 365 days ago. When last year? Because you just said you re okay, so you got married in April to somebody. Oh no, no, I, I'm not thinking about my ex husband. Not anymore. Wait, wait. You just told me you're married. Yeah. You said you, you got married in April and you're still married. Uh, it's it. It was not a conventional marriage. We never met in person. I'm gonna have an annulled, preferably if not divorced. Okay, so wait, 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 you see, okay, let me be clear here. Yeah. Uh, wait, Gigi the feelings said, are for my cousin. The world would the be feelings. a boring place without her. Okay, so let me be clear. <laughs> yeah. Um, you, you married a man that you never met? Yeah, we had communication. Is he in prison? 
No, no, okay. he's, he's, he's a worker. Okay. So where does he live? Well, right now he lives in Dubai. Okay. I don't want anything to do with him though. Okay. So how did you two physically get married? Oh, we went to, um, uh, I, I used distantmarriage.com and we had our <laughs> ceremony. Yeah, it was nice. Oh my God. This is news to me. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. So when was the last time you got laid? Mm, uh, that was like four years ago with my, um, a boyfriend that I had and we okay. were going to live together, but we didn't, we lived yeah, in a, I'm, I'm sorry, but sometimes you just can't make this shit up. <laughs> I mean, you need to be on a reality show. Really? <laughs> You know what? I can't give you conventional advice because what you're doing is most okay. likely there is an emotional wound within you that makes you gravitate to relationships that are are really um, almost fantasy type relationships. And so I, agree. There, I, I highly recommend that you see a psychologist, a psychiatrist, a therapist and really work on your stuff because I suspect you are really just living most likely in some sort of delusional state because of your mm -hmm. choice. This is purely based on the choices uh, and the way yeah. you've communicated in previous messages. I'm not saying this, I'm not a professional mental health professional, but I would say, mm -hmm. I'm gonna say everybody else would most likely agree with me. You highly need to seek somebody for professional care yeah. Because of your choices. Um, but then again, yeah. you know what? Who am I to say you can't live in a delusion? Okay. <laughs> That's the thing. Um, I'm only giving you the advice I would give somebody I know. Um, yeah. But who am I to judge your choices? So I'm not here to judge it, but I'm here to say mm -hmm. you're going down yeah. rabbit holes that aren't going anywhere. Okay. I like that. Um, the three of my deepest relationships were people that had bipolar, schizophrenia, and some other type of delusion. So let me ask you a question. What's the definition of insanity? Doing things over and over again and no. thinking it's going to change. No, doing the same thing over and over again. So you literally <laughs> said, I have a habit of choosing bipolar, schizophrenic, this, that. So maybe make oh. new choices and maybe have relationship date, maybe date face to face for a while. So you can yeah. determine this stuff a lot sooner rather than later. That's that's a thing. It's just that since I still have feelings for my cousin, I'm, I'm thinking of just letting things pass. Yeah. Um, okay. Because if you I go what? to another relationship, another, I might okay. just rebound to Here's the thing, again. Cecilia. I want to give other people a chance to jump in. I've given okay. you my recommendation. I'm sending you off with a big, gigantic Jonathan Bear hug. I'm Aww, sending you happy holidays. You. I'm wishing you a better 2024. And I truly hope you go seek medical attention because it is clear to okay. most likely me and everyone else watching, you probably yeah. need a bit of love from a professional, okay? Uh-huh. Okay. Thank All you. Right. I actually have G, uh, general anxiety disorder. That's what my doctor said. Okay, well, work yeah. on that. I was I was diagnosed. <laughs> I was okay, diagnosed with general anxiety disorder. Oh. Ah, uh, well, you know, Cecilia has been following me for quite some time. She posts comments on a regular basis. I think um, it takes a lot of bravery to join us live. So we got to give her a lot of props for that. So let's give her some props. A few people think she's cute, but I also think um, she's, she's a perfect example of people that live in a, a world in their head and not really 